Hello everyone, Corey and Janelle here, y'all always gone. How you doing? Um, fresh off of our spring break, little trip to Orlando, and we try to stay somewhere different every time we go if we can help it so that we have a review to do so people can go and see just outside of pictures. You know, a lot of the hotels will post pictures, but we try to give you a actual walkthrough of how the room looks with, with video. So mm -hmm. we decided to stay at a brand new hotel. It's um, Universal's Endless Summer Resort. And there's actually two hotels. There's Surfside Inn and Suites, which is open now, and Dockside Inn and Suites, which is a sister hotel right across the street that's scheduled to open at the end of this month. So we tried out Surfside Inn and Suites because the sort of privacy issues with Cabana mm -hmm. Bay. So we're gonna show you a walkthrough of the room real quick. We'll insert that here and then we'll come back and tell you our thoughts on the room. Okay, we are here at Universal's Endless Summer Resort. There's actually two different hotels. There's the Surfside Inn and Suites and the Dockside Inn and Suites. So um, we've already sort of moved in. I didn't do a blind entry this time. I wanted to sort of get a little bit of a lay of the land before I did it. So that's why you see some of our stuff in the video. But it does have a, a mini fridge and a microwave. There's not like a a full stove or anything but if you went out to eat and brought some food back you can store it and then heat it up later um, as you swing around you can see the sinks uh, his and her sinks and they're actually separate from the bathroom which is great because somebody can shower and shave or you know a woman can do makeup or whatever while you know someone else is using the bathroom so um yeah decent size i mean i guess you could take a bath in there maybe one person um but you know it's decent especially for the rate which i'll post in the description um, so you swing around and this is a separate bedroom, which is what I really liked about this place because it distinguishes it from Cabana Bay because Cabana Bay just sort of has that sliding um, partition that doesn't really offer a whole lot of privacy. Um, if you step over to the window here. You can get a view of the pool, fish shaped pool. We're up on the seventh floor. There's nine floors total between the two towers. Um, and then we'll do some more exploring. I have the wife walk around. They have uh, a Starbucks and some other things here and inside. They have a shuttle that goes back and forth to the parks um, to like two in the morning and then two uh, twin uh, queen beds. I'm sorry out front, um, you know, TV. So um, very fair price uh, for what you're getting. And the biggest things, like I said, offers the privacy, you know, relatively new place. Dockside is actually right across the street and it's supposed to be opening later this month. Um, and, you know, you get the same early park access with um, your room key um, and, and some other perks, which will also be posted in the description. But I just want to give everyone sort of a, a, a lay of the land of the new Surfside Inn and Suites here at Universal Orlando Resort. Okay, so what do you think of Surfside Inn and Suites? So normally we stay at Cabana Bay, which gives you the walk-in access and early access to Volcano Bay. But I like Cabana Bay Hotel. I actually really do because there's a lot of things that you can do with bowling and arcades. And there's a lot of things that you can do with the kids. However, we have a privacy issue. We do have two young boys that are with us. Our oldest son is 17. And, you know, we like that privacy. So at Cabana Bay, if you have a room that has multiple rooms it's part it's like a partition and it's very um it's not really private and then in order for anyone to use the restroom you have to go into that partition you have to go into the master yeah the master into the master room. room so we tried out the new hotel here with endless summer and i did like the fact that we were able to have two separate areas when you first walk into the room there's the two beds for the guests and then there's a separate room we also had a bathroom the room itself, I really like the layout. However, the walls were super thin, so you could hear everything from the vents and from the walls. Um, funny story, we actually had uh, a complaint. We ran to some friends there, and they came, and they saw us, and it wasn't too late. It was about 10 o'clock, and we did get a little loud. We're just loud people in general, but someone called and complained on us, and we had security. Yeah, to be quiet. Yeah. Just talking. They were playing music, anything, just hadn't seen 
Uh, this friend of mine, a long time her husband came over, he was another Marine. And so we started talking about the court and some of the things that they were doing in their life. And just sort of getting caught up and, mm -hmm. you know, laughing here and there. And the security guy came and knocked and said, hey, we got a noise complaint. Yeah, so we had to, to, we had to shut it down. And, and I think it was just more <laughs> of the, the building itself than it was us. Because, I mean, we can get loud and I didn't feel like we were loud at that particular moment. No, but I did have the issue. So I'm a light sleeper and the walls really were thin. So if... If I heard anything, I'm going to wake up. I could hear everything from that was going on outside and our room door was shut. I could hear what my neighbors were doing next door. I could hear people in that, like my kids in the bathroom. I could hear everything. So the walls were thin. That was one thing that I didn't like. Also in the bathroom, there's no fan. And I feel like with it not having a balcony or open windows, you're supposed to have some type of fan in the bathroom. So that kind of irritated me because there's no ventilation in that area. And the storage. Yeah, there was no closet <laughs> and there were no drawers or anything in the master part. So we did use the closet space, which was, it was like a little uh, board. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it had, and I'll, uh, I'll insert a picture of that right here. Yeah, it has, um, it's like a little curtain. And then the area where the main area where the kids were, they had only two or three, three doors. Three. And so that wasn't enough. I feel like for a family of four, we needed more storage space. So I was basically, I gave all of the drawers to everyone else. And I yeah. especially, my considering, <laughs> especially considering that the website actually says it accommodates six. Yes. So, I mean, if you brought six people, everybody's living out of a suitcase. Because yeah. there's definitely, you know, and it's supposed to be an extended stay type uh, facility. So mm -hmm. I think you're, you know, most people are going with three, four nights and things like that. So yeah, if you bring enough clothes for three or four nights and then possibly going to the theme park at, during the day, coming back, changing, going to dinner at night, it would be quite a bit of clothes. And uh, I, I just don't feel like they had the storage space to accommodate. I did like the uh, picnic table, like dining yes, room table. Was that was really cute. Table. The whole, the room itself of the court was very cute to me. What I also liked was everybody had windows that faced the pool and the pool was really nice. It was shaped like a fish and you could see everything that was going on outside. I also like my Starbucks. They had a Starbucks downstairs um, and it wasn't too busy and um, I really liked that. I liked their cafe. They had a lot of options there and they also had room service. And I'll insert the video here of the walkthrough of the remainder of the hotel. It'll show the Starbucks, the cafe, the fitness center, uh, the bar out by the pool, and there was a universal shop in there. We'll insert that now. All right, we are here at the Surfside Inn and Suites, part of Universal's Endless Summer Resorts. It's a check-in desk over there. They have a universal store over there where you can shop for universal gear starbucks and then there's a little cafe down here where they do basically breakfast lunch and dinner that you can uh, charge to your room dinner and then they've got a game room and a fitness center as well as a very large fish-shaped pool there's the arcade I think it's the one where you have to use the cards and you can't use a uh, cash I think they give you one of the cards it has to be reactivated and there's a gym Decent size, decent equipment for those people that can't vacation without working out. There's a cool bar outside by the pool. Not a lot of key card access once you're inside, but all the perimeter doors after a certain time, you have to have a key to get anything to open up. So that's pretty cool. Outdoor bar, decent sized pool. I think my son is out there somewhere. There's Taylor over there swimming. Thank you. 
Okay, so overall, um, I will put in the description what we paid. Obviously, do note that prices will vary. Um, but yeah, we, we were, I was behind a lady in line checking in, and you know, she had said that if she was there for like two weeks or was going to be there for two weeks. So I really think it's a great place for extended stay. Um, the price was not terrible for you know what you're getting, and that park did uh, that room did come with the early access as well. What you do lose out on is your room key isn't um, an express pass like some of the other on-site hotels. But I believe that only comes with three, uh, Hard Rock, Portofino, and Royal Pacific. Mm -hmm. I believe the only three that actually come with that. But they did have early access. They do have a shuttle that runs from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So if you want to settle over the city walk, you can do that. And uh, another little note, the parking was $15 a yeah. day. So be prepared, prepared for that. Um, other than that, I mean, I thought it was a, you know, it was it was an okay place to stay. Um, you know, we may or may not be back there again. We try to stay somewhere new every time we go, so we have more content for the channel, more mm -hmm. places to try out to figure out what we really like. But it, it'll definitely get put into the rotation because it does have, you know, some of some of its own benefits. Mm -hmm. I really liked it um, as far as the shuttle because we used the shuttle to go to Volcano Bay, and they got us there super quick. And um, it saved us from having to move the car, you know, on and off of the lot because they do have parking, which is in a garage, and um, which was actually nice. But uh, with it being, you know, fifteen dollars a day, you know, we just we liked the fact that we could shuttle to the parks that like we wanted to. So we hope this review is helpful. Anybody going to stay in Orlando, um, we also are going to put in the description um, our link to our review of the. Blue Green Fountains, which is an actual two bedroom suite with full kitchen mm -hmm. and washer dryer and everything. And the prices are, are pretty comparable, at least they were last time we stayed. We'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button, share the video. And if you have any questions, let us know. Let us know. Thank you, guys.